SAP, <coughs> SAP, the gateway work process here. Gateway work process here. So gateway work process means it's a SMGW is the transaction code to monitor the gateway connections here. So normally gateway work process, what is the work it will do means with message server load balancing activities will be performed. Gateway means so if any connections outside of the connections which are connecting to your SAP system, so with the, through via gateway only it will connect it. Through means so via gateway only any via via gate via gate your, your in front of your home there is a gate via gate only anybody will can come to your home and will go outside of the outside from the gate only right so which means gate is the so in and out right so some other party unknown persons is a unknown persons or authorized persons or anyone is coming so then gateway gate is open then they will come if the gateway is closed they will not come similar way in the sap system also in the gateway is kind of security gateway security right if any connection is coming to the sap system if it is the authorized connection valid ip valid ip details or everything is there then sap system should allow the connections here why because gateway is the gateway is the one of the work process here security related work process here security means not the normal sap security it kind of to protecting the our sap systems from unknown persons unauthorized people here sometimes what happens so some hackers or someone that they will do they will hack our system then if they hack our system we have the financial data in our system they will theft the data they will stole the data and whatever they want they can do it right so they can perform all kind of activities in our SAP system here. They perform the all kind of activities in our SAP systems here. So in that case, what will happen in that case? In that case, what will happen here? In that case, what will happen in the gateway work process here? So SMGW is the gateway work process here. So in the SAP gateway work process, it will it will it will restrict the it will restrict the connections here. So here we can track it, whether how many connections are coming inside of the system, how many connections are going. So we can track it here. So like uh, what are the connections are connected. So then we can restrict it here in the SMGW transaction code here. If you go to the SMGW here, we can restrict it. We can restrict it, how many connections are going in and out. So all those things we can restrict it here. All those things we can restrict it here. Okay, so then it's it's go we can go to the so here SMGW if you see here the gateway monitor here we can see the, the some connections details and everything here we can monitor it here how many connections are coming inside of the system how many are going outside of the system so all those things we can monitor it here here we can see the so the connections are coming from the local only but because our local host name or remote host name same who is the user it is connected so what they are doing so all the connections are connected status or disconnected status here so as per the gateway if any connection which are older than or which are the disconnecting status disconnected or something is a laptop issues or something it's disconnected status if it is a disconnected status what we can see we can cancel that sessions so select it then we can cancel it we can cancel that sessions here so we can we can go to the so logged on client we can go to the so not that for function we can go to the connections here then we can select it we can cancel it here we can cancel that sessions here we can cancel it that local application server sessions we can cancel it here right so that type of things we can do it here here every gateway there is a every gateway there is a connection limit here means every application server has separate gateway work process there here we have the two application server, we have the two gateway. If the two application servers are there, then each application server, we have the separate gateway. Means we have the two, two, two homes, then there are the two, two, two gateway process are there, right? Two gateways are there. Same as like here, we have the two application servers, we have the two gateways are there here. So each gateway, the connections we can find out here. Is that all our connected status? Who is the user? We can see it here. Suppose, 
if any connection are disconnected the status is the disconnecting or disconnected then we can delete it manually we can also delete that connection manually sometimes gateway work process will unable to delete it due to the some internal issues or icm issues it won't delete it then in this case we can also manually delete it we can also manually delete that connections we can delete it here right so every gateway by default we have the it will restrict the every home there is a limitations right so same here also in this application there is a so thousand connections are there here in the every application server so we have the thousand applications thousand connections it will allow it the maximum capacity so we have the three connections but if we have the 2000 connections are coming then what will happen it will allow if the 2001 person is logging connection is coming then the gateway work process will reject it why because the gateway the maximum capacity is the 2000 only the 2001 is coming it will reject that connection it will reject that connection here it will reject that connection here that is the reason so we have the so we can see um, that is the reason we see the gateway work process so it will monitor the so the connections which are coming active connections and everything here if the person is valid or valid ip then only the gateway connection will restrict it here the person is active and everything then only it will restrict the connections here right so that is the one thing we can see it here Just one minute. <laughs> okay, it will restrict the connections here. Suppose sometimes some company, some organization, they want to put the some other external connectivity also, more securable connectivity also here. In that case, they will enable the external security means some additional security features normally gateway will perform the all other some some default security connections here gateway will perform the default security connections you can go to the go to, go to and we can go to the go to here then go to the the trace functions here so the, so trace gateway display the file here you can see the here you can see the all the gateway related uh, any connections are uh, external connections are coming is it a failed status is it uh, incomplete is it uh, disconnecting is the deny all the gateway related what are the connections gateway is rejecting if the person wants to connect to the, our sap system via gate only he will come to the our home right same via gateway only he will come to the our sap system here so here if you put the gateway restrictions here the gateway will reject it gateway will reject it here so if you want to put the more security, we want to put the more security here. Why? Because nowadays the it's a cyber uh, cyber hacking is more 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 incidents are happening in the industries, right? So to protect our systems, we can also put the more security also here. Go to the expert functions, then external security. The maintain the ACL files here, access control list files here. But while putting these files, we have to carefully thoroughly check it out what are the connections you are going to happen here so there is a formula here right you can see p space user means p means permit user equals to star which means it will accept the all the user connections then local connections or internal connections it will accept it then tp is equal to start any laptop address system will connect so you guys are connecting from any laptop to you can you are connecting to the here right but if I make it some uh, restrictions here, you cannot connect it. If I if I change these parameters to the what I can what I will do here. If I change the parameters to the P means permit. So TP TP means a laptop IP details and everything here. So you guys are using the different different laptop computer names and everything. You are connecting to the my remote server right SAP systems. If I put the restrictions like suppose all. I want only allow the connections link SAP star means all your laptops are starting with the SAP star SAP star you can only it will only allow the connections here it will only allow the connections here right so then like that also we can put the restrictions like that also so
like that also we can put the connections here like that also we can put the connections suppose like i don't want to allow the all the users i want to only the username starting with the so yes so suppose like something like ravi ravi 1 ravi 2 ravi 3 ravi 4 ravi 4 something like that then i then if i put the restrictions here then so uh, restrictions here everything will be everything will be so uh, everything will be uh, it will be restricted here either local or remote or user whatever it may be it will visit so this is the external gateway security external gateway security files here so this is the more dangerous this is the more dangerous by setting this external security function here so normally uh, while while anyhow while setting this uh, user connections anyhow we have the uh, password policy in the organization network level security remote as ip address user id passwords so there are the two level authentications you have to cross it then you will open the sap login pad then like that you will do that one right so there are the more level security instead of that people will change the RFC destination connectivity like reginfo files. Reginfo files. This is the seginfo users related connections and everything. The reginfo here, the reginfo related files are here. So that is the TP is equal to TP star. This is the so reginfo files here. Reginfo files here. Here, what we can do here, we can we can enable the connections here. Then we can enable the seginfo reginfo file. Then so it will record the whatever the RFC destinations are which are connecting to the your SAP system. So this required the more carefully we have to perform it. Otherwise, one system will not connect to the this SAP system. Then it may be a connection issues. They may face it here, server connection issues and everything here. So some organizations, they won't prefer to connect the rig in this, this security settings here. Why? Because it's a most dangerous security settings here. Why? Because we can configure it by we have to observe it here. We have to observe it here. How many connections you are configuring? Suppose like you can go to the here. We can create the so more security. What are the RFC destinations you want to connect it here? And what are the program names you want to connect to the SAP system? All those things you need to record. All those things you have to record into the all those things we have to record it here. We have to record it. Then we have to save the all the entries into the file so that system will allow only these connections only if any other connection is coming system it will reject it why because it's not matching in the in this rfc destinations and programs list here so what are the connections you are recording here that's fine then tomorrow if you create the one more connection system will reject that connection here system will reject that connection here because uh, you have not maintained the reg info file reg info file you have not maintained so that's the reason system will reject that connections our server means we keep on working on the system we are configuring the everything here suppose if you miss to add the entry in the reg info file the connections will break then communication will break that's why some organizations they won't set they won't touch like this so smgw connectivities anyhow we have the security more level security in the while connecting to the open opening the laptop you have the user id password then while connecting to the remote server, you have the user ID password. Then from there, if you open the SAP logon, but if you're connecting to the SAP, you have the user ID password. They are the more level authentications you are using. So then that's the reason someone, they will put more restrictions on the network side, they will put it out, not in the SAP side. If they put the SAP side also, that's very good. But sometimes what happens, if something goes wrong, so an entire system will be impacted something goes wrong entire your system will be impacted so that is the reason so people some people they won't touch this second info and reg info files here second info and reg info files they won't touch it here second info and reg info files they won't touch it here so that is the reason here right so that is the one of the thing of second info reg info this will be handled by the gateway process here normally when you are going to the one of the celebrities house or anyone who house so there is a gateway security so right so he will do the necessary sanity checks and authentication then once you are okay valid person then only he will hello to meet that person right he will allow the inside inside of that building right same as like here also the gateway work process will perform that the formal security authentications and everything if the person is valid then only gateway will allow the connections means person is valid means he is having the valid connection IP and user ID and everything, then only the gateway work process 
process will allow the connections here. If the gateway is down, no one cannot connect. Even SAP system will go down. If the gateway is closed, then how can we log into the SAP system? No one can log into the systems, right? So that is the gateway work process we'll do here, SMGW. So as part of the, our daily monitoring activity here, so what we have to do as a basic consultant here, here we need to check the connections limitations here. Okay, fine. If the some, sometimes what happens, more number of users will log in 2000 and 2000, there is no free connections, then system will, so system will go down. System, not system will go down, new users will not able to log in. Existing users can log in who are already logged in. So sometimes we may get the, some cross questions. Existing users are able to log in, sorry, existing users are able to work in the system, new users are unable to log in, which means system is fine, but new users are unable to log in. It's a typical question, which means, okay, in that case, server limitation is over. Server limitation means gateway limitations. Okay, how the people will enter into the system via gateway, right, via home. So your home capacity is the 2000. The 2001 person is coming, so same definitely gateway will not allow the connection, but there is a limitation. Sir, can we increase it? Yes, we can increase it. We can increase it, but there is a standards we have to follow it here, right? It's not like that one lakh, two lakhs connections we can commit. It's only a little bit more we can create it as per the SAP recommendations, two to four thousand or something like that. We can maintain it. It's not like that. So six thousand, eight thousand, like this here. Okay, that is the limitations we need to set as per the kernel. Okay, that is the limitations we need to set it out as per the EWA recommendations or kernel recommendations we need to provide it here. This is about the gateway work process. Okay, so trace and all, locks and all, what are the connections we can see it? Go to trace, here we can gateway, here we can see the, so we can increase the trace level to collect the more locks or we can also display the locks, see what's happening in the, or my gateway system, all the information we can track it here. Right, gateway related to this. This is about the gateway. Okay. So do, don't go for the external security more. So because sometimes even you will not able to log into the system. System is up and running. If you do small mistake here, even you will not able to log into the SAP system. It's a very dangerous. So that's why some people, they won't touch all those connections and everything here. Okay. Any questions, anyone? Sir, what are the common gateway issues? A common gateway is yes. a gateway table is full. Okay. This gateway okay. table is full. So then people will, new users will not log in. Sometimes what happens, your connection status is disconnected. But if the disconnected status means it should be, you should not show the connections here. Sometimes what happens, it's not the disconnected, it's not the connected, it's a disconnecting status, disconnecting. Sometimes what happens, user user connected to system due to his laptop issues or network issues. He will not is not is not completely logged out is not logged in in middle is the intermediate so then there is a one connection entry created this keep on disconnecting 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 means there is a, some issues then we can forcefully cancel that connections here we can delete it that connections we can delete it here if you double click it it will throw it will show the details here it will show the some details here so what's happening in the system all the information when he is initiated what it is doing and everything, all the information, everything you have the record here. What IP connected, what is the IP address, what is the status and uh, which IP is connected, what is the gateway, what is, so all the information we can see it here, right? So maybe we need to manually cancel it, manually delete it. There is an option to delete it, we can delete it. Okay. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks guys. So you can practice it. So